We've been focusing again, as you know, making the long form for, uh, long form census mandatory because we want reliable, good quality data. And this is a positive <laughs> announcement. Uh, when we're on the campaign trail, particularly in my riding of Mississauga Malton, I met many organizations, businesses who were looking for reliable data, and the vast majority of people understand the importance of this data and they want to participate in this process. Why is it you think that the past government uh, got rid of the long form census? I mean, considering you're, you, you probably delved into it, you know a lot about it now, what, what do you think? What was the reason? I mean, we know the history of the past government. They've very, very much focused on ideology. We're focused on sound evidence based policies. We want to make sure we're driving good policies based on good evidence and good quality data, and that's what this announcement is about but today. If it's going to be mandatory, what kind of penalty are you going to impose on those who refuse to fill it out? Again, the idea is to engage Canadians. And if you talk to people who don't have the information, I believe in Stats Canada, for example, they're a very, very top-notch organization. They work really hard to engage Canadians to making sure they get the appropriate information. And if you speak to Canadians and you get them engaged in the process, they'll fill out the information. And that's what we're focusing on, because we need good, reliable data. But in 2011, it was not compulsory. Do you fear that now citizens will be, will be more reliable reluctant than before to not to, to fill that long form process. no we're going to have a robust communication plan we're going to make sure we communicate with individuals and let them know that this is mandatory if you look at 2006 the response rate was 93.5 percent and in 2011 it's 77 percent so people understand that has a significant impact on the quality of data but I'm very confident in stats Canada they will make sure no I'm very confident in stats Canada that they will communicate this and it's a great opportunity again to tell people why this information is important for planning safety Cities. For look, if you talk to municipal leaders, if you talk to provincial premiers, if you talk to anyone at any level of government, businesses, NGOs, they all understand the importance of this. And I think this is a great opportunity for us to really communicate with Canadians to tell the importance of this. Just so we're clear, is there a penalty or not? Is a prison term still a possibility? So the, or if you don't fill it out, what happens? So the law is law. Uh, the law is the law, and it's very clear on that. The law has not changed. What we're trying to say again is we want to make sure we focus on making sure that people participate in the process. As I said, 93.5 percent people did participate. Sometimes you do not get a hold of people because they're not home or they move or, they, or they're traveling, but the vast majority of people are there and that really helps the quality of data and that's what we're focused on.